Hello and welcome guys. Welcome back to another episode of Gaming with the Guru. I'm the Guru here and today I'm going to show you this barn that I have built. First off I will not take credit for everything in the barn. There is an amazing guy called Jag Thunder One who makes some incredible stuff on Minecraft. If you're watching this and you've never heard of him, please go check out his channel. The basic design of this whole thing, which I did not mean to just do that, the basic design is pretty much his. I took it and I fleshed it out a whole lot. I added the lights, um, I changed up the entrance ways. I added columns on the inside. Um, I added all these columns on the outside. I uh, put the stairs upside down to give it a little depth. Um, I really like the lighting that I came up with in here. I am in a vanilla texture pack. He does not use the vanilla texture pack. Um, I will link you to his video and you can check out his barn and his texture pack like I said he is a very great builder he has some more awesome builds and he pretty much laid the groundwork for this in his barn I did change sides as well right here this on his barn is over here on the other side mine is now horse accessible that's what these are for the original barn was only a two wide door uh, there comes a pesky zombie um he has a fence here which i have plans for this and it's going to involve something maybe some of y'all can figure it out maybe some of you can't um give you one guess the animal is not in the barn right now so can you guess whatever it is I'm gonna do out here now, I do want to go over here oh pesky creeper man what is it animals oh it's gonna get me kinda laggy blow up blow up yep yeah, blow up oh man there's two of them go away creeper I'm trying to make a video you're kinda Want a buddy, and your buddy's gonna got to go too. Oh, he about blew up. Yeah, take that creeper. So there's that. Um, yeah, I can jump down here with that down. Um, go bounce over here. There's the back side of it, the view. I did miss some glowstone that I wanted to put right there. I had torches temporary. There's how I framed it out. Looks very nice. Um, once again, I do want to point out that it is not all mine. So don't be screaming that in the comments, please. I understand it's not. I have contacted him. He gave me permission to build the barn and showcase it in a video and give him credit I actually gave him credit on the sign so everybody on the server will know that you know he has a hand in this design um, the barn roughly took me mm, probably four days five days there's my bed um, it, it took a while to build has a nice view right here I extended the walkways out a little bit more added stairs down through the thing um, I need to widen this out by one block because I'm going to end up falling off right there if I do not so there's that view of town um, it is a big build it does take a lot of material and he has, he has windows as well 
I wanted a more, I guess, traditional look. I don't know if any barns that really use windows. I'm not knocking his design, but I wanted the red side of the barn. So I accomplished that. It took quite a few shearings of the sheep. I have a big sheep pen over in my buddy Anna Thigh's trading village that he let me dial red. And I sheared all in for all this wool. Um, the trees came from both my tree farm. Oh, I didn't finish that. Came from both my tree farm and a tree farm over in Anathias Village. Um, it, again, this is 100% survival build. It it took a lot. It, it's very complicated at times. I did die a few times. You fall off the roof up there and land down there, and well, you're a big greasy spot right there on it. Stuff on it. I mean, if that's all you can say about that. So, um, I really am proud of this barn. I I'm using the vanilla texture pack once again, right here. But I'm going to do something, because I built this thing entirely in vanilla. I really don't like the vanilla texture pack, but I built it in vanilla so everybody can see exactly um, what it looks like in case you're just running straight up Minecraft. I mean, most people, I don't know, I don't think most people actually use the texture pack, because I've seen a lot of other videos on YouTube. Oh, excuse me, my nose is running. Allergies is killing me. But most people use the vanilla texture pack. So I wanted to show you what the vanilla texture pack looks. However, right here, I am going to go. I'm going to go use Monkey Farms custom, custom John Smith texture pack. Which, the John Smith texture pack was always one of my favorite texture packs. Monkey Farm, who... I have also contacted, you know, and he lets everybody download this. I give him 100% credit for this texture pack. He lets everybody use it, that downloads it. Um, he, I don't know, I guess tweaks the John Smith texture pack toward his downright amazing. So we're going to switch over to it. Go back, and there's how the barn looks in it. It's maybe in a monkey farm texture pack. I would have maybe made the sides birch wood and fleshed it out with the oak logs. That way it had a little bit of color break. I mean, I'm still happy with the way it looks. And I wouldn't go back and change it now. I mean, I'm really happy with this. The only thing I do not like about it and I'm tempting to do it is it has a wooden roof well wooden roofs can get struck by lightning and burn and I'm just not real real fond of this place burning down so I'm thinking of adding and changing the whole roof to nether rack and I can do that it might take a little bit and I just kinda want everybody's opinions on it that's watching the videos and, you know here's all the stuff and one more thing I failed to point out in the last one I did take this bottom row I wanted a functional barn floor to hold all the animals well if you build this with blocks then cage them all in we'll go into the pig pen welcome to the pig pen right here you're in the pig pen now if this was a block instead of a fence, these pigs could jump up on it and then they'll jump up here. Well, that runs into a problem when they jump here because then they'll fall off here and boom. Next thing you know, you got pigs and cows together. The cows will do it too. So I chopped out all this wood and changed it over to fences. I think the fences really added to it as far as functionality. It may have took away a little bit of... Um, I guess design points but 
And then here on the front, I added that. And then I needed a way to get to the loft. So I made that. But overall, I'm very happy with this. This is probably my biggest build I've ever done. Once again, I want to thank Jag Thunder One for an awesome base design that he gave me. A lot of this is his. I did try everything in the world to make it my own as well. Um, I will be sending him a link to this. So, Jack, I really hope you like this barn. I really hope I didn't do it any injustice in the changes I made. Um, I like it, and I like it a lot, so I appreciate it. And with all that, people, I'm going to end the video. So, hope y'all enjoy the barn. Please like, subscribe, and peace out.